Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in my series on the Raspberry Pi. In today's video, we're going to add to our while loop and specifically we will be generating random numbers. So we can start to store them in uh, variables and so we can add them together and then pose a question to the user where they have to uh, type in the answer and so on and so on. So for today's video, for this video, we will just be generating random numbers and I'll just look at the time if it uh, go, goes on too long, then I'll, I'll, we can do the actual questions in the next video. Otherwise, we might fit it into this one. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. So in the previous video, we um, did a while loop, and we saw that um, we can have five loops going around and around, and then it comes out of it. So we want to now add a random number. So um, the function that we will use, we need to get from a library because of, um, up to this point we've only used the basic functions in um, Python, but there's certain functions if we want to use it we have to import it. So if we go to the uh, second line at the top, the blank line, I'm just going to enter twice and sort of in the blank one, we want to import a module from the vast Python library. So um, we're going to say the following, from random import rand int, from random import rand int. So what that means is um, from a module in the library called random, we are importing that function called rand int. And that's the function that we will be using to generate random numbers. Now you might think, what does that mean, rand int? Now the rand you can probably work out means random and the int means integer, integer. An integer is a whole number uh, and it can be negative or positive like 100 or 201 or minus 13 or whatever. It's just a whole number. So for example, these would uh, be integers as well, but uh, specifically to generate random numbers, random whole numbers, we have to use that uh, function. So we have to put it in, um, if we go down to the, oh, let me just quickly, quickly, quickly just tidy this up. I said I didn't do uh, capital letter there. Sorry, it's just being me again. Right, so we've got that, and then also I just want to add in that this will be the loop for the main quiz. There we go. The loop for the main quiz. And I can also say over there that we're just adding one um, to our question. Adding one to our, or to the questions to the questions. All right? Cool. So we're going to go here. I'm just going to enter. Remember, if you enter, it uh, gives one tab space. Uh, otherwise, you have to have four single spaces from the side. So I'm going to call my, uh, remember we have to have two numbers, so we're going to add two numbers between 1 and 10, we're going to add them together, for example, a uh, random number, for example, 7 plus 3, something like that. So I'm going to call the first variable, um, oh, this time we're actually creating a local variable, remember before I spoke about global variables on, on outside, and this one will only work on the inside while it's in the loop, so that's called a local variable, it won't work outside the loop, so num1 is going to be equal to, and now we use a function, rand int, and a function has always got a open and close bracket, and then you have to set the minimum number, so from 1 to 10. So that will generate a random number between 1 and 10. What I will do now, I will actually, just for the purposes of showing you that, I will actually go ahead and print whatever it's, it's got to do it five times obviously, so you should see uh, random numbers, which of course could also be the same number that it chooses. We haven't eliminated any numbers. Uh, if we get to a section on lists or arrays, um, we can sort that out. Uh, so I'm going to press F5, and I'm going to say OK, and there we go. So we're going to say Air Jujo, and we're going to run it, and there you can see the first number it generated. The random number was a one, then the nine, then a four, then an eight, then a three. So we um, quite lucky in this sense that it's generated five. Oops, where's question five? Let me just go down. Uh, we'll bring that down a bit like that. Lift it up. Um, and so on. Whoa, that's a bit big. 
we can just minimize that. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've got um, the five numbers. Oh, we've got it there before. I need to sort that out. I need. To s oh, it was before. Okay, I get it. I get it. So uh, I generated it before the actual question. So let me just um, go back there. And of course, it was for to show you that the numbers are actually uh, generated randomly. Sorry, I had a sort of blank moment there for a second. Okay, so now we know it actually generates that number, but we want two different random numbers. So we're just going to repeat it by putting in a new variable. Remember, a variable is a container that has a name with a value in it, and this time it's going to be rand int. Again, a number between one and ten. Ooh, between one and ten. And um, let's print that one as well. Let's um, we'll print them below each other. Print uh, num two this time. Whoa, capitals! How did I do that? Let's try again. There we go. Print uh, num two. There we go. So now we should have five numbers again because it's looping five times. And the reason it wasn't um, after the question, if I had actually let me do it. Let me grab that. I'll cut it. And I'll put it. Um, I'll just put it after the question number in there, and then I will. Then you will see what's going on. So I'll just run that, and I'll type my name again, Andrew Joe, and then you will see. Now it's generated the random numbers. Question one. There's my two numbers, two numbers, two numbers, and so on. And now it's after the question that we are using it, but it was just for explanation purposes, so illustration purposes, and I'll take that away, and then I'll come back here. But, in order for us to see if we actually added the numbers correctly, we also need the program to then add those two numbers together. So now we're going to create yet another local variable, and I'm going to call this one QANs for my question, answers to my questions. So my QANs. And this time we're adding num1 and number 2. So we're going to store the value of those two added together here and here will be stored in there. So um, this time I'm going to just go and actually I'll show you the same thing again. Parent open, so I'm going to have num1 and I'm going to have not point but rather print and then I'm going to do num2 print num2 and then I'm also going to print um, the answers when they add together so you can see that the, the program actually adds the numbers together so I'm going to run that and then if I print my name there you can see we've got it so we've got question 1 so 10 plus 9 is 19, 10 plus 8 is 18, 9 and 1 is 10, 8 and 1 is 9, and so on. So you can see it's storing the values of num1, num2, and then in QANs, it's storing the answer when you add the two together. So that's what those variables are doing. So uh, now let me get rid of them over there. So we know the program actually is working properly. It's generating a random number between 1 and 10. A random number between 1 and 10 there, it's storing them in num1, in num2, it's adding them together, storing it in the variable, in memory, uh, in that variable there. Phew, so that is quite quite an interesting one. So that's very powerful to use to use those. So we've got the question number, is there time? Is there time? Let, um, I, I think I'm going to stop here, uh, generating random numbers, and then in the next video, we will start to go into um, listing the questions properly and which could be slightly more challenging to explain or to understand so I think I'll take it a little bit slower and I'll just keep this one as the generating a random number so I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter and uh, have a nice day bye